Okay, good morning, dear students of class nine. Uh, welcome to Mali Radio and Television Station ORTM. Uh, today, uh, our topic in English is customs and traditions. And the title is Renaming Ceremony. Stand up class, sit down please. Good morning class. What's your day today? Okay, well, today is Friday, April the 10th, 2020. All right. Okay. On what occasion do people gather in our society and or in another world when do people get together okay so they generally when get together when there are ceremonies in our house when there are weddings or marriages or circumcision or death okay now there are some religious leaders who also perform these ceremonies. Okay, who are they? Can you tell me one, the name of one? Okay, so in Mali, you, you have Zanzerbo, the priest. And uh, in Islam, in Muslim religion, for instance, you have Imam Balakale. All right, so these people are qualified for leading these ceremonies in our societies. All right. Uh, today, we'll see a lesson about customs and tradition. And at the end of this lesson, learners should be able to know the different kinds of ceremonies, use words and phrases in a meaningful sentence. Okay, so here is our text, the naming ceremony. I read it once or twice, and you have to be very careful and listen it. Next day, Bola's grandfather went to see Bola's cousin Ademola. Grandfather, in our family, my son, we always choose the name of an ancestor for a new baby. Ademola. Yes, I know, grandfather. Did you go and see the Ifa priest? Grandfather, of course. We always have to see him about important ceremonies. Ademola, what did he say about the baby? Grandfather, your baby's name will be Risi. He told me she must never eat salt. You must take her to see him when she's old enough. All right. Now, dear students, you have to listen very carefully to the pronunciation of the different words. Naming. Listen carefully and you repeat after me. Naming, 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 naming ceremony, naming ceremony, naming ceremony. Okay? A ceremony of giving a name to the newly born baby. Okay. 
So, you can give another word of your own next time. All right. So, as I had, as I had priest, our priest is Jean Zerbo. Jean Zerbo is a priest. And uh, remember that Imam Balakale is an Imam because he is Muslim. And Jean Zerbo is a Christian. All right. So Christians have their ceremonies and uh, Muslims also have their ceremonies. Okay. So, the ways are different according to religions, okay? Ancestors, repeat after me, ancestors, ancestors, ancestors. So, this is the plural form of an ancestor. An ancestor, an ancestor without S, okay? And now it is in singular. And when we put it in plural, plural form, so you have ancestors. For instance, Sunjata Keita and the Sumauro Kante are our ancestors. Sunjata Keita and the Sumauro Kante are our ancestors. Okay, next time, give another sentence like this. All right. The next word is salt. Repeat class. Salt. 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 Okay. Salt. When we prepare some fish or when we want to prepare some meat at home well you have to use a little salt on it okay this makes it tasty okay all right and now is opposite is opposite or contrary is sugar when we want some food sweet like candy for instance okay like candy well candy is sweet okay when you want to make tea for instance you can put some sugar in it or in the morning when you want to make to make your your coffee well you have to put some sugar in it, okay? Sugar is sweet, like candy. Sugar is sweet. Is as sweet as candy, okay? Sugar is as sweet as candy, okay? Right. In our customs, for instance, we see must never eat salt. We see must never eat salt. Why? Because it is their customs when a baby is named Rishi, well, of course, she mustn't eat salt. Okay? Okay, now look at these words. The position of adverbs in our text. You see, always, usually, often, never, sometimes. Example. She always sings songs. Musa usually comes at 12 o'clock. Okay, now, when you see these two examples, 
you can see that our adverb of frequency is placed between the subject and the verb. She and sings. Okay? So, always is placed between she and sings. So, when you see the next sentence also, Musa usually come at 12 o'clock. Musa usually come, usually come at 12 o'clock. Okay, usually, when you see this adverb also, it is placed between Musa and, and come. Okay, so this is the place of adverbs of frequency. Okay? But beware, students, be careful of the use of to be in simple sentences. When, for instance, you have an adverb of frequency used with the simple tense of to be, so the place of adverb of frequency will change. It will come just after the verb to be. For instance, he is always late. He is always late. So, next time, you will try to bring another sentence like what I have now taught. Okay? Now, comprehension. Exercise one. True and false statements. Put T for true answers and F for the false ones. Number one. Next month, Bola's grandfather went to see Bola's cousin, Ademola. Okay, this sentence, is it true or false? Next sentence. In our family, we always choose the name of an ancestor for a new baby. In our family, we always choose the name of an ancestor for a new baby. Okay, is that, is that true or false also? And the next, or the last, the baby's name will be Rishi. The baby's name will be Rishi. Is that true or false also? Okay, when you come at home, you have to, to do this exercise for the next session. Comprehension questions. Answer these questions based on the reading text. Question one. Who did Bola's grandfather go to see? When did he go? Three. Who is Ademola? Four. Who chooses the name of the new baby? Five. What will be the name of the new baby? And six, what must the baby never eat? What must the baby never eat? All right. So when you come at home, students, you have to do it for the next time, okay? Uh, thank you for your attention.